Beyond the Prees, um, we're here in Duradoyle, a very cold Duradoyle. Probably these are conditions that you wouldn't have come across too often in, in your lifetime, would it? No, no, this is uh, all a first experience for me, but uh, I mean, if you come to Europe, you, you expect a white Christmas, so we take it in our stride. And uh, is, is it, do, you find it, do you find it difficult preparing for matches in these particularly cold conditions, or is it just something that you, you, you get into your stride doing? I must say, like, the guys take it in a stride. It's something different for me, training on a 3G pitch. Back home, the fields weren't froze up, so we use the, the pitches every day. But uh, it's a nice experience and something to tell the guys back home. And talking about the games coming up, you know, the, the Ospreys, you've, you've, you've played against them before, so you know the sort of team they are and you would, have, you would have spoken to colleagues. How difficult do you expect this game is going to be? You're up against what is probably the, the Welsh front row. Yeah, no, it's going to be a difficult game. I mean, they've got all the Welsh players, their superstars, uh, loads of them played for the Lions last year and a uh, quality side, so we're expecting a tough uh, battle on Sunday. Have you is it done any particular work on, on, your, on your opposing number or is you, you just, do, you, do you just deal with it as an entirety or as a whole? No, no, we'll go through the videos uh, through the week and uh, analyse stuff about him and the way they scrum and techniques they have. So, yeah, there's a lot of video work going into a match as well. Now, your preparation, where you're here in Limit today and tomorrow, what, what, what will the next couple of days involve at Vian Priest? Well, tomorrow is our rest day, so we'll take it relaxing, get on the videos, watch a few tapes. And then Thursday we're back together as a team training and putting stuff together. So that's that's the next few days. And the day before the game again, is it what what, what to, do you have a, do you have a routine that you always follow, or is it is it is it sort of you know take it as it comes? No, well I, I'm not superstitious. So the routine I follow is a program we get from from the team. So <laughs> that's the way I go on match days. You recently we had the start of the November series. We had the South African team over here. Did you get an up? Did you go to the game, or did you get an opportunity to catch up with any of your your, your, your mates from South Africa? Yeah, luckily it was Monsters Week off, so we went away to the holidays to get some sun before the winter. So I missed the guys. Uh, we we spoke on Skype and the telephones while they were here now. So, but I, I didn't uh, catch up with them personally. In terms of the, 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 the actual game and the Heineken Cup, and I know you were here before for it, is, 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 the, is, it, is it different for the Heineken Cup than it is for, for Magnus League game? The atmosphere, the build-up, what you, what you hear around the town? Yeah, definitely. There's, there's something special about Heineken Cup matches and those being played at Tom and Park adds a bit of spice to it. And uh, everybody's looking forward to the match and playing in front of the crowd, the home crowd. We know they're going to support and lift us again like they do every match. And how important is that support, Vian? Very, very important. Uh, it just lifts the team to the next level that uh, the other teams can't uh, live with us.